Hello, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted, and today we're going to be going over how to take better pictures of your candles. Uh, now, I get this question a lot. This goofy cat. I get this question a lot, and it's how do you take better pictures of your candles? Uh, what can you do? Um, we're not going to go into great detail with this one. We're just going to use these two candles right here, and we're just going to shoot with just a iPhone around the house. Uh, I'm not gonna, I, I wanna do this video in a couple different parts. I'm thinking three different parts. This first one is just gonna be a cell phone and a candle around the house. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to get the best picture out of that. Uh, we're gonna go into, I'm gonna show you a few different, a few different apps that will help you stylize your photos and uh, make them look a little bit more professional. Uh, and then in the next video, I'm gonna go into uh, better backgrounds, buying some stuff, uh, very cheap items. Uh, getting into uh, different atmospheres, different, different backgrounds, uh, getting into a little bit of lighting. And then the last one, I'm gonna use a real nice camera, like a DSLR uh, with a lot of lighting equipment and uh, try to do it in three separate parts. So we're gonna go ahead, I've got a couple places around the house and I'm gonna go into kind of what I'm doing when I take the pictures uh, and then kind of go from there and then jump into an app and then we'll stylize it and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so for this one right here, I've just chosen a spot that has a uh, good background, something I can pull it away from. One thing you wanna do is you can put the candle all the way back here, but you'll get a lot more depth in your photo if you pull the camera back and you have a lot of background behind it. And then we'll just go ahead and take a few of these. Kitty, you can't help with this one. And then I'm gonna take just a couple basic photos. Uh, you wanna make sure and try to get uh, stuff out of your background. So I'm gonna lower this one a little bit so that you can't see the power outlet. And then I always take a couple because you never know what is gonna stand out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and light that one as well. Probably could have knocked that wick down a little bit that was really high. And then on some of the newer iPhones, if you have the portrait mode, the portrait mode is pretty good. And this one will make the background, it'll only make the candle stand out and the rest of it will be out of focus. But if you don't, I need to knock that down a little bit. That's way too much wick. Okay, so that's a little bit better right there. Uh, it's still really high. I'm not gonna wait for that to die down with the flame. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this one out. Try to get a little bit of a fade on that. And if you don't have the portrait mode on your phone, we can create the effect in Instagram and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, and for this one right here, I'm just shooting this one across the floor. Just looking for a long background behind it that we can kind of cut out. Try that one in portrait. And for this one, you can see there's actually a pretty harsh shadow right there. So that's gonna be a little difficult to work with. Okay, and for this one here, I'm just gonna shoot this one across my table. And we'll just take a couple shots here. If you don't have a good place to shoot indoors and you wanna shoot outdoors, uh, and if you don't have any lighting or anything to shield the harsh kind of sunlight in the middle of the day, uh, the best time to take photos outside is gonna be the last hour of the night. That's when you usually get uh, the best lighting. Uh, they call that the golden hour. So if you're gonna take photos in the, like outside, definitely wait towards the end of the day and take them. Uh, in, like right now, it's about 6.15. So we're in the last hour of uh, light for today. So we're gonna go outside and take a couple shots outside. and then come up over the top so you can see me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this one. Uh, I've already got Instagram loaded up. This is the app we're gonna use. Uh, everybody pretty much has Instagram. Snapseed is another really good photo app that you can uh, add preset filters and everything. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and add a picture down at the bottom and I'm gonna go into the folder that has these. So we're gonna go down into 
I'm going to pick one of these candles. This is one of the first picture that we took. So you can just kind of move these around a little bit. I'm going to move this one over, just make it off center just a little bit. And then you can go through and use the presets that Instagram has in here. But for this one, we're going to choose normal. And I'm just going to show you a couple of the, uh, the different features that are in here. So if you want to mess with these a little bit, you can see your pictures. If they're too bright or too dark, uh, you can do a lot to fix that. Um, so we're going to go with this one. You can take the brightness all the way up. And a little goes a long way with this stuff. So if you take the darkness all the way down, it looks way too dark. So just going down a little bit if you want a little bit darker feel to it. Uh, for this one, we're going to go ahead and lighten it up a little bit. And then we're going to move on the contrast and we'll pull that black out just a little bit more so it stands out. Uh, structure is another one where it kind of highlights all the colors in the photo. So we'll take that one up just a little bit to bring out that bronze cap. And then for this one, we're going to do vignette also. And if you notice the top corners, they'll start to turn a little darker, almost like a burnt edge. And then the tilt shift is the other one. Uh, the tilt shift will, you can move this around and place the focus only on the, on the candle, which is really nice. And then the rest of the background and everything else is out of focus. So your eye really draws to the candle. Uh, if your iPhone doesn't do this or your phone, uh, Android or whatever you're using, if it doesn't do this, you can mimic this in Instagram. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit done. Now to save this photo, we're just gonna take a screenshot of the whole thing and then we're gonna crop it down. And then save to photos, and now you've got that photo. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next photo, which is the one on the floor that I took. And I'm gonna use this one right here. Make that a little bit bigger, make it off center just a little bit. And for this one, we're just gonna go ahead and use one of the presets. And actually that one right there is kind of nice. It kind of, it makes, it gives kind of a haze, gives kind of a haze over the whole thing. And then you've got a bunch of different ones to choose from. So if you really wanted to keep this very basic, you can load it into Instagram, choose one of these filters. And that one actually right there is a pretty nice one too. But we're gonna take it back to Gingham. And then we're gonna take a screenshot. And then of course, if you're posting to Instagram, you would just go ahead and post from here and then hit done. And then I'm gonna show you the one photo that I took outside. Uh, if you can get here, now if you can get photos of your candles outside, this is the one that I took outside. And you can see right here, the color on this one is actually almost perfect. Uh, this was probably here the last hour of the night. So this is probably about 6.15 in the evening. Uh, you could almost make this just like that. Uh, that, that's a nice looking photo. You've got a nice tint. There's no harsh light coming in over that. And then if you wanted to play with that a little bit, again, you can just go through and choose some of the colors, uh, some of the preset filters. And you don't want to go too far. I mean, obviously you can play with it a little bit. Like this one right here is kind of nice. It brings out that bronze or that uh, kind of a rustic lid a little bit. It doesn't overdo it to where the lid looks fake or it's going to show up different. Because uh, if somebody's buying this candle based off this photo uh, and the lid is extremely bright or like really bronze or golden and when it shows up, it's not even close to that same color, you might get a couple questions. But that one's actually not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and save that one. And that's pretty much it. We've got everything right there. And those are our photos that... We just did. All right, so that's pretty much it. The photos turned out pretty good. That's uh, probably the easiest way to do things. If you can keep your photos out of really harsh lights, uh, really harsh shadows, paying attention to the background, uh, making sure that your candle is the main focus. And you can do that a few different ways. You can use the portrait mode in your phone if you have it. If you don't, you can use the, uh, the vignette feature in Instagram so that only the candle stands out. Uh, it's not a bad idea to have things in the background. You just want to make sure that you know what it is. Uh, if you've just got, 
I don't know, just a bunch of random items and stuff that's on the counter, it's gonna look really bad. So obviously clearing the counter, making sure that the candle is in focus or whatever's in the background kind of matches. Uh, so if it, like the, the one photo we had of the grill or something like that. Uh, but a very quick and easy way to get some decent pictures and make your products really stand out. I'd say the biggest thing that you want to stay away from is shooting outside in the bright, just the middle of the day where the sunlight is just beating down. Your photos are going to come out extremely bright. Uh, they just won't look good uh, unless you have like filters, unless you've got big giant filters to block out the sun or anything that, uh, that will keep the sunlight from hitting directly at it. So if you can keep the pictures inside, uh, you can definitely make them look good and just keep, get the most natural lighting as possible. Uh, if you're inside, if you can get away uh, from uh, like the, the orange glow from uh, like halogens and stuff like that. Um, and if you can use the, li the natural light from the outside, uh, on the inside of the house, you're going to get really nice photos. So that's pretty much it. The uh, next one I'm going to go into, we're going to get into a few more things. I've got some backgrounds right here. Uh, these are extremely nice to use. They're very cheap. So the next portion of this video, part two basically, uh, we're gonna have um, a little bit more thing, a little bit more to make the photos kind of stand out a little bit more. Things like this, and we're gonna use some better, better screens to kind of shield the lighting. Uh, pretty much everything we use in part two is gonna be less than twenty or thirty dollars, so it's not gonna jump up. When we jump into part three, that's gonna be a little bit more expensive, and a more expensive camera, uh, some lighting equipment, um, and and some nicer stuff like that. But the uh, the fir this first one and the second one will be very easy for almost anybody to jump into. Uh, again, I glossed over a little bit of this stuff, but if you do have any questions, ask them in the comments down below. I answer every single one of them. Uh, and as always, we do have the Facebook help group. Uh, it's DIY candle making beginner to advanced. So please jump over there. I included a link in the video description down below. Uh, come over, introduce yourself. Uh, it's a very active group. Uh, we're getting close to a thousand members now, so it's nice to have more people jumping in there. There's a lot of people posting uh, some of the candles that they've made. Uh, a lot of beginners and a lot, of, a lot of advanced users in there as well. And again, if you want to get in touch with me, you can get in touch with me through stanleyhandcrafted.com, uh, the email down below, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you.